Welcome to my space and thoughts on all things health and welcome back to this four-part series. We have been talking about how to boost our immunity and preventative measures of how to keep ourselves safe, especially now during this season and during this pandemic. Our guest is Lucy Nguma, diet and lifestyle um, consultant. She has been with us the past three weeks. Thank you so much. And today we are going to have her here talking about the effects of COVID on us mentally. And I don't know about you, but for me, it has taken its toll on me mentally. It, it can get very draining. Even I have, even if I have not gotten, and I thank God, COVID, um, hearing deaths of loved ones and friends and those who have been sick and almost dying, it can really get exhausting. Then I also hear that COVID affects those who get it like their mental capacity or is affected. So we are going to learn about how to help ourselves mentally to be able to be better. Yeah, so what are these measures we need to take to be able to mentally keep ourselves sane? Okay. Coming from a biblical perspective, mm -hmm. I believe that everything that happens is orchestrated by God okay. himself. Mm -hmm. That's true. He's in charge of everything. He's in charge of um, nature. He's in charge of life. So I think the best way to keep a, an, a good attitude or have a good mental um, frame is to trust God mm -hmm. and uh, depend on Him mm -hmm. because whether you like it or not, He's in charge. Mm -hmm. So you are better off uh, being in the know of what He wants you to know and how He wants you to carry on with your life. Oh. So I would begin there. Okay. So there was something I was reading still from the book I mentioned last week, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Healing, and it says that the relation that exists between the mind and the body is very intimate. Mm -hmm. And that when one is affected, mm -hmm. the other sympathizes. Yes. Is that true? That is true. Mm -hmm. You realize, like, um, I didn't mention it last week when we talked about eating. Mm -hmm. When you eat your food, you should make sure that you are not sitting in front of a television watching a scary movie or something of the sort, mm -hmm. or you're not angry. Mm -hmm. You know, when that is why we say when you display your food on the plate, let mm -hmm. it look um, attractive, mm -hmm. because all that is connected. Even food plating? Food plating. Oh. Even the color of your plate. Even the color of your plate? Yes, determines how your, your, okay. your mind will interpret what you're eating and therefore what kind of hormones it is going to produce. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking to eat, mm -hmm. um, prepare yourself to eat. Have the right frame of mind okay. and you will enjoy your food. Most people will realize that when you're angry, mm -hmm. you don't want to eat. In fact, what happens in the whole system, it kind of knots down so that you don't want to eat. When you are depressed, when you are stressed, and when you are angry, you will most often not want to eat because the body knows it cannot deal with those two things at the same time. So I cannot be stressed or I can't be angry and eat you at the same not. time. I think yes, yes. I will go and experiment on yes. that. <laughs> no, if we are basically saying when you are stressed, uh -huh. uh, deal with the stress. Deal with that first before you eat. Before you eat. Because the body won't be able because to... Because the body does not metabolize efficiently what you eat when you are stressed. Well, I think that also adds up to what I read here. It says that many of the diseases from which men suffer mm -hmm. are, as, are, um, are the result of mental depression. And exactly. it says that a contented mind mm -hmm. and a cheerful spirit is mm -hmm. health to the body and strength yes. to the soul. Yes. Like the verse Proverbs 17, 22 mm -hmm. that says mm -hmm. that a merry heart doeth good like medicine. Does good like medicine, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I need to be in the right frame of mind. You need to be in a, the right frame of mind. Mm -hmm. And you see, we say that in life, you choose how you want to respond to the environment. Mm -hmm. 
things may be tough, just mm -hmm. like they are tough for many of us right now during this dif difficult uh, season mm -hmm. of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But you decide how you are going to respond. Mm -hmm. If you remember or if you realize that uh, you didn't create the pandemic, you didn't cause yourself to lose the job, okay. or whatever you, circumstances you find in yourself, and whatever happens to you, there is someone beyond you who is carefully watching. Mm. And most of the times, if the Lord has allowed these things to happen, it is because he wants to, you to learn some lesson, maybe mm -hmm. of patience, mm -hmm. of, of sharing, mm -hmm. of uh, kindness, mm -hmm. a lesson. And the sooner you learn the lesson, usually he will come through for you. Ah. So I shouldn't, in short, worry about things yes. that, yes. that are out of my control. Out of your control. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Well, there was this line as well from the same book that it mm -hmm. says, in the treatment of the sick, mm -hmm. the effect of mental influence should not be overlooked. Yes. And that, rightly used, this same influence affords one of the most effective agencies mm -hmm. for combating disease. Yes. So in many words, I should be careful what or how I let my mental treatment be or how I let it be affected. Yes. So I shouldn't be anxious. You should not. The Bible says do not be anxious. Philippians 4.6. Yes. Six. yes. Do, not do not be anxious. Be anxious for anything, mm -hmm. but with prayer and supplication, mm -hmm. with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Make, Make your requests. request known to God. Uh -huh. Yes. And th that simply means that you know mm -hmm. that God himself has his eye on you mm -hmm. and he is doing his best for you at all times. Mm -hmm. Imagine how, what, what a, what a, what a relaxing feeling you have if you if you know that someone is watching over you and he has good intentions for you. Mm -hmm. So in life, and see what happens when you think that way, then you are able to know what to do. Okay. Because if you are anxious, mm -hmm. if you are feeling frustrated and you have allowed it to overwhelm you, then you make the wrong choices, mm -hmm. you make the wrong decisions, you do the wrong moves, and you will probably end up in a deeper kind of a situation than you, you were before. Mm -hmm. So that is why the necessity to, to have trust in God, in fact, that is one of the laws of natural health. No, the eight laws you are telling the eight us laws we, of, we should yes. learn about. One of them is trust in God mm -hmm. or trust in a higher power, mm -hmm. a higher being mm -hmm. that is above you, mm -hmm. that is above you and has your interest in their heart. Mm -hmm. That is one of the laws of health. Mm -hmm. It actually helps you to have the right attitude mm -hmm. towards life. Mm -hmm. And when you have the right attitude, it means that you are able to get out of the place you have found yourself in mm -hmm. by doing and moving in the right direction mm -hmm. rather than sit in a place and, and feel trapped mm -hmm. because um, God is able mm -hmm. and he enables you to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. That is the beauty of, of faith. That's true. Yes. But also at the same time, I, yes. I believe that yes. if I feel overwhelmed, yes. I should seek counseling or see a therapist, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. That is that is very important, I would say. Because I feel sometimes as Christians, we yes. neglect the yes. fact that there's somebody yes. who is trained and yes. Yes. has the qualifications to yes. help you through yes. Yes. that yes. difficult yes. time. Yes. I agree with you mm -hmm. entirely. If you add that with prayer as well, yes. it makes it like, wow. Yes. Trusting in God plus yes. Yes. seeking help because sometimes yes. it can be overwhelming. Yes, it can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And there are professionals mm -hmm. who are qualified to walk you through where it began, mm -hmm. what it has, um, how it has affected you, mm -hmm. and what is the way forward. Mm -hmm. Because um, the moment your attitude towards whatever it is you're going through becomes one of a victim, mm -hmm. then you do become a victim. Okay. But you want to have the attitude of a victor. Of a victor. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we say that an attitude of gratitude 
also is healing to the body. Mm. That's what you mentioned before yeah. about the merry heart. Mm -hmm. So an attitude of gratitude is, is very key. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that who of you, which one of you by worrying can cause one of their hairs to grow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> None yeah. of us. Yeah. Yes. So the, our, our mental health is primarily um, determined by the way we choose to approach things mm -hmm. because we have a choice mm -hmm. and the moment that you you think in the right way mm -hmm. then the body produces the right hormones which propel you happy to hormones happy hormones which uh -huh. propel you towards making better decisions like i said okay. saying the right doing the right things uh -huh. continuing with the right environment with your friends because some people will find themselves in this place and they are fighting now with everybody else Ah, for no reason. For no, re no, they have a reason. Okay, <laughs> it has nothing to, <laughs> to do, do with everybody, everybody else. else. Okay, yes, yes, that's yes. true. So it is key that we realize that there is a relationship between our mental health mm -hmm. and our physical health. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded that um, when Jesus healed people, he would say, "Your sins are forgiven." Mm -hmm. You know why he would say that? Because why? when we have considered sin mm -hmm. or when we are engaged in sin mm -hmm. many of the times you will be feeling guilty this guilt mm -hmm. is what causes your body to produce the wrong hormones which lower your immunity which means disease wow i never thought of it like that yes and my guiltiness <laughs> and feeling of i've done yes. something wrong yes actually it's true you you feel you're not too happy you're not too yes. Yes, you don't enjoy your food, you don't yeah, enjoy your yeah. sleep, you, that is equal to stress. Wow. Yes, and that is equal to disease. Okay. Yes. Wow, so mm -hmm. I should not worry. Yes. Leave it to God. Leave it to God. Trust him that he's going to see me through it. Yes. If I need to seek a therapist, I should. Should seek. Just do the same. Yes. But also trust in God. Trust in God mm -hmm. and... Confess your sins to one another mm -hmm. and to God. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Yes. So, what about if I feel like I'm maybe to us younger people? I don't know if yes. this <laughs> comes to her. Yes. Social media sometimes gives us so much pressure. Yes, pressure to perform, pressure yes. to show yes. that I have yes. accomplished much. Yes. Yes. Pressure that I'm pressure, everybody's pressure, pressure, pressure. pressure. Yes. Being Things are happening to you that are yes. not happening to me. Yes. Yes. And people say time is running out yes. and I'm this age and I've yes. not done this and yes. I don't have this, I haven't acquired this. So it's anxi anxieties of life taking yes. over me. Yes. Everyone's journey is mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. and our goals are definitely different. Our, our gifts, our abilities are very different mm -hmm. so the moment you find yourself comparing yourself with somebody else then you are in a losing battle mm -hmm. because at no time will anybody be the same like everybody else True. so it is to keep on your path mm -hmm. and believe in god mm -hmm. and what god can enable you to do mm -hmm. and remember that he has a uh, a plan for you and he has Jeremiah 29, 11. Yes, he has a good plan for you mm -hmm. and also remember that he has he has he has created you completely different from everybody else on this planet mm -hmm. so when you now think that you want to be like somebody else that's a long shot because you will never be like I'll anybody be else. else we 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 will do everything we can to achieve that which god has put in our heart mm -hmm. or in our capacity to do mm -hmm. and and be happy with ourselves mm -hmm. and be happy for even those who seem in your own perspective to be doing better than you That's right. be happy for them yeah. because when uh, your friends have have mm -hmm. or are doing better mm -hmm. you will be blessed also that's right yes yeah you you get blessed if, in, in, if you're in a group <laughs> where four millionaires you're the fifth one exactly so if you're a group of five healthy, four, four healthy, you're the fifth healthy one. Exactly. <laughs> okay, that's exactly. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. I hear you. So you've heard it, guys. Don't, 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 don't take these things too seriously. Be happy for them. Applaud your friends. Yes. Don't put too much anxiety on yourself. If you must 
seek um, help outside like therapist um, a counselor please do it but also remember to trust in God in everything and remember that the plans he has for you are good and everything will go according to his will which is always best for each and every one of us precisely so also I think mental affirmations I'll just add are good for you just affirm yourself mm -hmm. the small wins you have every day this mm -hmm. pandemic has really really caught us and made us feel trapped but if you are able to work out today and you're not worked out for a whole year clap for yourself like tell yourself you've done a good job just mm -hmm. affirm yourself i'm capable i can do this i am strong enough if you feel weighed down by things just mm -hmm. affirm yourself every day and it will make your life so much easier so i think that is it on don't how... forget the holy spirit ah yes yes mm -hmm. yes 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 we have to He's our helper. He's our helper. <laughs> we have yes. to lean, li listen and trust that the Holy Spirit is going to guide us in everything and help us mm -hmm. when we need um, assistance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you so much, guys. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you being with us through this uh, series of how to um, prevent um, preventative measures of how to take care of ourselves during this pandemic and how to boost your immunity. And even I know health wise mentally something that we also need to do and i pray and hope that you're taking these measures and that you have learned a lot thank you so much for spending your time with us this past four weeks we really appreciate you in my and if you wanted to come back write in the comments maybe if there's something you want to learn more that has to do with diet and lifestyle will you be wanting to come back and <laughs> sit with us sure, here sure, sure. it's my pleasure thank you thank you so yes, much so yes. we'll give I'll give more info on how to reach out to her if you want to email her, if you want to do the classes that she has offering on Zoom, you can be able to find, find them out in the description box below. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you spending your time here with me and I pray that God blesses you in every area of your life. If you like this content, remember, big thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. See you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you and be blessed.